I want to get to something. Speaking of the pandemic, right. you were out today with Health Director Barbara Ferrer and got a chance to ask her a lot of questions. I did. So while L.A. County, this is some good news, coronavirus numbers are trending downward. Uh, while that's happening, Health Director Barbara Ferrer says she's concerned about the number, the lack of people seemingly uninterested in the new bivalent booster. So here's that. I'm hoping that over time we can clear up any confusions about why it's important for people to go ahead and get another booster dose so that those numbers go up. Those numbers actually need to increase pretty dramatically. Ferrer reports just over 350,000 eligible residents, Alex, out of 7 million, have received the bivalent booster. She put out a call for certainly the elderly or those with underlying health conditions to get it as soon as possible, especially as we head toward the colder winter months when people tend to gather indoors more. I asked her about her status. Have you been boosted by the bivalent? I, I, I'm struggling because... Um, I think, you know, my, my sort of personal story is complicated uh, on the vaccines, and I, I'm not really sure it's, it's relevant. This is what I can say, is uh, when I am cleared to get that uh, booster, I will go ahead and get that booster. So, bottom line, I asked her if she's boosted by that bivalent, if you couldn't pick up my audio there, and she says she is waiting for clearance. She expects to get that clearance soon from her doctor, and then at that point, she says she'll get the booster. I know today, Senator Alex Padilla got the booster mm -hmm. as a big public show right. to tell people to do it. Uh, I know early on there were some uh, questions about people that were 50 and under. Should they get the booster? What's the guidance right now? If you're under 50, should you get the booster? The guidance is if you're 12 and older at yeah. this point, and it's been two months since your last shot, since you received the booster, uh, then the bivalent is for you. Hmm. Next week, she expects the FDA to give approval for those under 12 years old. Wow. So by October 19th, kids could be eligible for that bivalent booster. And it's still free, right? It is still free. Yeah, all yeah. right. Interesting.